Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing one of Jeffree Star's 2019 Summer Mystery Boxes. When I went online to place my order when these first went live, I tried to get the deluxe box. Um, when I went and selected my size, it sent me to a screen that said, you know, thank you for your support, we're processing your order, um, please stay with us. Um, and then I waited about seven or eight minutes and it finally took me to the next screen and it told me that um, they couldn't process my order, that my size was out of stock, so obviously I did not get, you know, close enough in line to get my size. So I went back to the screen and I got the next size that was available, um, and it, once again it did the exact same thing and told me that size was sold out. So I finally gave up and I decided, no, I should just try for a premium box, otherwise I might not get one at all. Um, so I did do that and luckily I was one of the lucky few who was able to get one. Um, my box actually got here, I believe it was Tuesday, however I ordered a new ring light from Amazon and it didn't get here until today, um, actually it just got here a couple hours ago, so it is like 10 o'clock and I am just now filming this video that I technically could have filmed a couple days ago. Um, before I, I got my box, I had taken a little bit of a sneak peek and looked at a couple of other people's unboxings just to see, you know, what kind of products they got in there so I can know kind of, you know, what to expect, and I was kind of unnerved by the videos that I watched it seems like they almost all got the exact same items like the exact same shades and it seems like a lot of people got um, a couple of highlighters that were I don't want to say ugly or you know unconventional but weren't really colors that I think would look good with my skin tone I am very very pale so any dark dark golds or like super dark greens or blues don't really show up very well on me. Um, they kind of just make me look like, you know, a sick Victorian child. <clears throat> so that kind of made me a little bit nervous. Um, I also saw a lot of people were getting lipstick shades such as, I think it was called Karma, which is like this really bizarre baby poop green color. It's not really a color that just anybody can pull off. And I'm one of those people who, if you got a good set of lips, I'm all for wearing whatever color lipstick you want. I wear blue lipstick, bright green lipsticks, reds, purples, you name it, I've got it. Um, however, personally, I just think the baby poop green just really isn't a color I would want on my face, um, especially not my lips. So I was also told that I've never gotten one of Jeffree Star's boxes before. I was told that I guess last year his exclusive lip color was a bright shade. I think somebody said it was like a green or something, um, and a lot of people were upset about it because that's not really a color they would wear. That's kind of how I feel about the baby poop green. Um, and I did see that the exclusive lippy is going to be a color that most people would wear, more of like a nude color. So I am very excited about that. Um, with all that out of the way, let's get started. So it looks like the first thing we have is one of Jeffree Star's pop sockets. I got one in orange. I don't know if anybody else got one in a different color. Um, I'm assuming there's both orange and green available because that's what color the boxes were. Um, so I believe last year the pop socket was like an additional like little extra item that was just kind of thrown in there. Um, this year in unfortunately it looks like the pop socket does count as one of the five items in this box. Um, it's so cute. Personally, I'm not really a pop socket fan. I do have um, a phone case that has like a phone ring on it that you can like put your finger through. And I do like it. It's just they're not really my thing. And I'm not a huge fan of the color orange. So I'll probably just end up regifting this or, you know, reselling it online. So we'll just set that to the side. All right. So the first thing I've got is I have. Ooh. So I was hoping I'd get one of these. I did get one of the liquid frosts. Um, hopefully, oh, I don't know about this, you guys. So this is Canary Bling. I don't know if the camera's gonna focus on that or not. It looks, the label looks very, very gold. And as I said earlier, I feel like gold colors just do not show up very well in my skin tone. I feel like gold is more of a, a tan or a, you know, a really dark skin tone. Uh, let's see, but looks can be deceiving, so. Oh, okay it's not it's not that bad it's actually I mean it's pretty gold but it's a little bit more of a nude gold than a, a bright yellow gold we'll give her a little swatch we'll see what this what this turns up 
I'm scared. I don't want to put too much. I feel like the last time I swatched one of these, it leaked all over my arm and made a huge mess. Oh, wow. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Ooh. Here, let me give it a different try. We'll try a different spot. How about this one? I will say, this is actually a really pretty color. It's nowhere near as gold as the, the label would lead you to believe. Which is a good thing for me because I probably wouldn't wear it if it was that gold. Wow, look at that reflectiveness, you guys. I'm going for the gods. You can see me from space. Alrighty, and that's what we like, right? To be seen from space. Okay. So it looks like the next thing we have in here is a... Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gemini. Looks kind of like a, a reddish color. Reddish brown. And very, very pretty. Let's give her a go. Oh yeah, yeah. So it is, it's actually really similar to a lipstick that I wear. Um, I think it's NYX's Lip Lingerie in the color Push Up. Um, very similar to what that looks like. Let's give her a swatch. Oh wow, so creamy. I love swatching lipsticks. So there you guys go. Very beautiful. I wonder if it turns a little bit darker as it oxidizes. We'll find out. All right, and then we also have the exclusive lippy. This one I believe is a, a really soft pink. Normally, it is. <laughs> Normally, I'm not a huge fan of pinks, mainly because I feel like anytime I wear a pink lipstick, it makes my teeth look more yellow. Does anybody else feel like that? I don't know. It just feels like it makes the stainage of my teeth stick out a lot more. I always feel that way about pink. Let's give it a swatch. These actually smell pretty okay for a liquid lipstick. I'm pleasantly surprised. And we all know I'm a sucker for packaging. So there is the two swatches next to each other. Gemini and then our exclusive lippy. Very pretty. Definitely both shades that I will wear. So I'm very, very pleased about that. Um, also, as I said, like the first two swatches that I, or not swatches, first two unboxings that I saw, it looked like they got almost the exact same items. I have looked at a couple since then, um, as people have uploaded, and it looks like there's actually a pretty wide variety of different things people have gotten, so that's, you know, good on Jeffrey. Because it seems like a lot of times you get these mystery boxes, and it seems like they're almost all, you know, exactly alike, with a couple of exceptions. Alright, so, this last product we got is, um... A lip ammunition and given that the box is white I'm guessing this is one of the ones that came out around the same time as the alien palette this is a shade galaxy gold once again them golds make me nervous you guys oh wow okay so this is actually very very pretty this is honestly something I would actually wear um, it actually might be better as like a topper on my lipstick rather than just being worn alone just because my lips are so light I don't know if you guys can see that it's a very it's almost sheer which I mean there's nothing wrong with that you can always play around there's endless combinations of topping that on top of something else just out of curiosity I kind of feel like I need to swatch this new lipstick so let's give her a go Oh, wow. <laughs> Very pink, you guys. Honestly, ignore my bad skin. I didn't put foundation on today. I was too lazy. And since I didn't really have anywhere to go other than to film this video, I decided it would be a huge waste of very expensive foundation. Honestly, this shade could be a little bit darker for me. I think maybe if I had like a nude eyeshadow, um, it would probably go a lot better. But, you know, it's still a pretty color. Um, all in all, I think I'm really happy with the products that I got. I do think um, the $45 is definitely worth it. However, my only complaint is shipping. Jeffrey, my man, you have got to do something about shipping. 
Shipping for just this, this little bitty box, I think I paid like $12 and I live in Kansas. So it's not like, you know, it'd be one thing if it was like halfway around the world and I lived in like Russia or something, but $12 to ship this tiny little box a couple states over seems like a lot. Um, I think my total came out to like 58 or $60, something like that. It was, it was pretty expensive. So definitely got to bash it on that. Um, however, you know, taken aside from the shipping costs, the $45 for the five products averages out to about $9 a product. That's pretty good. Um, a lot of these items probably weren't things that I would have splurged on and spent money, you know, for these individual items. So it's nice to be able to just kind of get a little surprise. It's like a, a gift to myself, if you will. You know, who doesn't love getting gifts from themselves? Nobody knows me like me, right? You know, I'm one of those people who like whenever I go shopping and I see something, I'm like, you know who would like that? Me. I would like that. And then I end up spending a lot more money on myself than I do on anybody else. I don't know. It's, it's horrible. I have a problem. I need an intervention. That's what needs to happen. We need an intervention. All right, you guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what did you guys get in your boxes? Were you happy with what you got? Did you get some crazy colors? Um, did you think the $45 or however much you spent on your box was worth it? Um, yeah, just let me know what you guys got. And thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one.